What is good, everybody? Welcome to an Epic My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we do have some exciting news for you guys. Obviously, this probably won't come to fruition for a while because it's going to take a while to complete and, you know, design and everything like that. But it is an idea that I've had cooking in my head for so very long and, you know, I've only created really four wrestlers i think for the whole thing but anyways guys you guys know that over the last few days we have talked about the first signee to mdt or actually you gotta say the fourth signee and i'll get into that in just a moment because the first three signees of the what we're talking about here were uh were a while back and you guys already know that because they're in the collection they're they've been a part of many videos but let's go ahead and dive in guys this today we're going to be discussing the details of mddt or my damn developmental toys or it'll actually be like md squared toys i think like it'll be M, a D with like a little, you know, like an exponent and then a T there. And uh, it, it should be epic. I think it's going to be epic. I'll probably get a logo created soon and stuff like that. But anyways, guys, it's going to be the NXT version of MDT Wrestling or the developmental brand, whatever you want to call it, where I create my own wrestlers. And this could end up, you know, evolving and eventually being what MDT is fully. You know, I don't know. I don't know what the future holds or maybe it'll just always be NXT. Maybe a couple get caught up. I don't know what the hell's going on. You know, I, I this is just spitballing at the wall. But I do have the foundation of it. I have the full list of wrestlers here, and we're going to run through, you know, the, the list of wrestlers. We're gonna, I'm going to show you guys. Um, I don't I only have the names. I don't really, I have an idea of what I want them to look like. I don't have, you know, concept art or anything like that just yet, but I will unveil that to you guys once we get there. But let's go ahead and dive in, guys. You guys obviously know the first signee, the big time signee that we got for MDT Developmental for one of the singles wrestlers is Flip Fokker, the uh, the number one guy here, the baby face here. And uh, he, he's a high-flying assassin. Yeah, I, I would compare his style similar to a Buddy Murphy slash Will Ospreay hybrid type deal um, is what I'm going for. You guys obviously know that he will be baby face and his finishing moves will be the Fokken Flip and the Fock U, which are uh, to be determined. I, I have an idea of how I want them to be performed, but I'm not going to showcase them to you till a later video. Video. Maybe we can do like a superstar profiling video for each guy and we can, you know, once they're created and fully done, I guys, you guys can see their pick fetted, you know, move set and you guys can kind of see, you know, their finishers and stuff like that. Maybe their entrances or something. I don't know. Maybe we can do that at a later date, show you guys their full entrance and maybe like a sequence or something and do like a superstar profile style video. I think that'd be pretty badassery, but you guys already know Flip Fokker. He is a beast. Dude is a freaking, is a freaking gym right there, but Next up, uh, you guys already know what he looks like. I don't really have to explain what I think he'll look like. That is Flip Fokker right there, and I'm excited for the way he turned out. He's not completely done just yet, but we do. Uh, there's the updated head sculpt. I know you guys hadn't seen the figure with his head sculpt on there. There's Flip Fokker. The next figure that we have, guys, is going to be Judas. Now, this is a guy that I'm debating on if he should be face or heel. I feel like he should be heel because you know he's Judas, but at the same time, I feel like he could be a baby face. I don't know. We're, we're going to have to see about that. Uh, the concept for him is I imagine him having some tattoos, probably like one marquee tattoo, whether, whether it be on like the chest or his arms. Not exactly sure what I want to do there, but I imagine him having like some black wrist tape or black hand tape similar to Flip Fokker, but black instead. Um, and I imagine him having some sort of face paint. I don't know what, what exactly, and I imagine him having long hair. Now that's kind of what I'm dealing with. I don't know exactly what the rest of him is going to look like. That's just sort of a concept that I'm thinking of, and probably throughout the video I'll probably pop up guys that I think what, you know, sort of a similar look that I'm going for, not completely what I think they're going to look like. I'll probably make these guys on 2K eventually and then plug them up and then use that. That's go, that's what I did for Flip Fokker. I created them on 2K and then I used that to, you know, get the parts ready and then I brought them to fruition there based off of my image. And I think that's probably the best case for everybody, so I'll probably do that with them. Also forgot to mention, Judas's finishing move is the deadest shit and it's kind of uh, where he suplexes you but you land on your neck area kind of like uh, I'll try to plug like a little clip of what I imagine it looking like or at least how you're going to land when he hits you with the deadest shit. You're going to land on your neck there and it's going to look, uh, me and my friend Prill call that a deadest shit. So if you land on your neck, you're deadest shit. That's what we call that. So, uh, you know, the last three letters of his name is D-A-S and so that would probably be like a, a custom t-shirt design or something or on his pants. Judas would be spelled out and then the D-A-S, deadest shit would be, you know, uh, like in a different color or more bold or something. So that's kind of where the deadest shit comes forward and it kind of plays into the name Judas. So you guys get that right there. So there's Judas. Uh, next up, guys, what I was saying is Panic. Now, he is going to be a big-time heel in MDDT here. Panic with a K, so it's P-A-N-I-K. 
Uh, I imagine him being like big and scary as hell. Like I, I want you to look at this man and just immediately feel panic. I imagine an abyss, a cane, uh, you know, a really big dude that just looks scary as shit is what I'm envisioning. Kind of Undertaker-ish. You know, I just want him to be very scary. That's uh, that's about it. I want you to feel scared when you look at him, and I want you to panic when you look at him. So panic is another guy. I imagine him being a pretty big guy, at least like 6'4 plus, and probably being like 260, 280 somewhere in that range so uh, he'll definitely be a big time mofo and uh, that is panic right there so panic is another big time guy he is a heel moving on guys we have another sort of high flyery type deal this guy's name is going to be ace hughes now uh, ace hughes is uh, kind of where i got the idea for uh it's it's you guys remember on thinking outside the box i think it was uh the the rich one head sculpt i figured i would use that head sculpt and then kind of tweak it just a little bit probably maybe color his hair a little bit or make it blonde or something and make that ace hughes and you guys remember on thinking outside the box i talked about maybe you know using that head sculpt to make a creative wrestler well that is kind of what ace hughes that's where he comes from that is the, like the whole idea behind that creation on that day i know we didn't find the ace hughes head sculpt or the the rich one head sculpt till later but that is what I'm thinking for Ace Hughes. So Ace Hughes is another guy. I'm imagining he would be a face, but who knows at this at this juncture. Uh, there is Ace Hughes. Next up, guys, we do have Fruity Side Iron. Yes, Fruity Side Iron. Very weird name, obviously. But uh, I don't know if he's going to be a face or heel. The rest of them, I'm not sure if I want him to be heel or face. Maybe I can. Uh, you guys can help me out down in the comment section below. Let me know your thoughts on what these guys should look like and what their gimmick should be and stuff like that. But we do have Fruity Side Iron. That is another guy. Uh, don't really know what I want him to look like, but... Uh, Let's just move on because some of these I don't have a full flesh idea. You guys know that I have more of an idea for other guys than for some of them. But there is Fruity Sign Iron. Next up we have Craig Craig. Now you heard that right. It is Craig Craig. Now not Craig Craig. It's not Craig Craig like that. It is Craig Craig. So you have to pause when you say it there. That is his gimmick. Um, I imagine him being... Not like Orange Cassidy, but I want him to be the most plain Jane-ass wrestler that you've ever seen. So just super generic wrestler, Craig Craig. Just basic AF, basic white dude. So that is what I'm feeling for Craig Craig. Now, the next guy that I think that I want to uh, create here is going to be Jock King. Now, I imagine a very MVP-ish type deal coming off kind of athletic. Or not kind of athletic. He's obviously going to be athletic. He's going to be a boss. But Jock King, I imagine him having like an athletic-based background, like football slash basketball hybrid type athlete. Just a really good athlete. You know, he's probably a beast at all three sports. And, um, you know, baseball, basketball, football there. So Jock King, obviously, the play on the name, he's a jock, and he's the king of all the sports. So it's Jock King. I thought that was a pretty good one there. He'll have all the different, you know, uh, his, his gear will be pretty sick. Probably, you know, mimic that of uh, athletes and and stuff like that, so I thought that'd be really sick there, so Jock King, he'll probably enter with like different, you know, jerseys and shit like that, kind of like John Cena back in the day, um, so that is Jock King right there, next guys, we have Pretty Boy Sean O'Reilly, now Sean O'Reilly is gonna be probably a Dolph Ziggler head sculpt, kind of Pretty Boy, I'd imagine dark hair though, not uh, blonde hair, he'll be Pretty Boy Sean O'Reilly, and he'll be, you know, kind of like John Morrison and Dolph Ziggler kind of put together there, if you can imagine that, um, he'll probably wear, you know, the biker trunks or something like that. So Sean O'Reilly, pretty boy Sean O'Reilly is another guy that I'm thinking of. And then the last singles wrestler that I have off of the top of my head is Anthony the Assassin Morales. He is going to have, um, I'm imagining like a Cain Velasquez type, but probably leaner and a little bit taller. Um, not taller than Cain Velasquez. I don't even know how tall Cain Velasquez is, but um, the, the basis for him will be like a lean, like ripped up UFC background, like kickboxing uh, type athlete right here. Anthony the Assassin Morales, he's going to have the UFC shorts and he's going to kick your damn head off. It's kind of what I'm imagining for Anthony Morales. So Anthony Morales right there is going to be a boss and that is it for our solo division. Now we're going to move on to the tag team division and I think I have four tag teams. I know for a fact I have three completely figured out and then I have a screenshot from a text um, a long time ago when me and Prill were talking about the fourth tag team, but I don't know if I completely have it. Maybe I can pull it up. But anyways, you guys know the first uh, signee to the tag team division was the Founding Fathers, obviously. Manager Teddy Roosevelt with George Washington and Abraham Lincoln. They are babyface. They're the Founding Fathers there, and uh, they are obviously the uh, the, the foundation of for the tag team divisions right there in the name. The Founding Fathers, they're, they're, they're the first signees ever in MDDT history. 
So our next tag team next to the Founding Fathers, guys, is going to be the Loco Diablos. Now, that obviously stands for Crazy Devils, and they're going to be Babyface, Miguel and Paco Pena, making their way to uh, the MDT, MDDT developmental brand right here. Loco Diablo is going to be Beast Mode. Um, I imagine them being a lot like the Lucha Brothers, obviously. That's kind of like where they come from. They are going to have matching masks, and uh, I do have two Los Matadores head sculpts on the way that I'm going to use for the bases of it. They're going to have red on it. I'm going to customize them, obviously. Probably put them on some Los Matadors uh, torsos with, like, some black or red tights. I think they're going to be pretty badass. I'm actually excited to make these Loco Diablos. So that is the second team in the division. Then we have the third team, which is going to be Blue Collar. Now, this is going to be Blue Collar. They are going to be heels. And they're going to remind me a lot of Trevor Murdoch and uh, Garrison Cade back in the day, if you guys know who those guys are. They're going to be, like, redneck heels that are big and just kind of rough around the edges. And, you know, they're going to they're gonna chew. They're going to they're gonna dip. They're going to be from, from backwoods, man. I mean, I, I've, I've grown up in Alabama my whole life, and I know exactly what these guys are going to look like and how they're going to be. And uh, their names are going to be Booter Jones Jr. and Duke Ford, the two heels from Blue Collar from the MDDT brand right there. So that is going to be excellent. you got Blue Collar. They are heels. Booter Jones Jr. and Duke Ford, I imagine them being pretty overweight, you know, and uh, they're going to be really redneck, obviously, and just straight dirt leg. So that is what I'm envisioning for Blue Collar. And then the last tag team, I think, let me go ahead and check right quick again exactly what it was. Um, I cannot remember what exactly they are. You guys can see here on the screenshot, uh, the volume's up on the screenshot right there, so I do not know exactly... I don't know what that is, like, like that plain, well, I don't know what that is, but underneath that you guys can see it says Tag Team, and then you have the team name, and it says Agony, and you have Aries, Vicious, and Bloody Ross. Now, and I'm not sure if that's going to be the final Tag Team name, but that's what I have here in my notes, so uh, I obviously was thinking on that. I don't know if I'll scratch that or what, but that is just another uh, piece of information that I wanted to share with you guys before we get into it. And I actually forgot about one more uh, developmental guy. His name is Slip McGillicuddy. Actually, I found two, two, two or three more, actually. Uh, sorry about that. Before we end the video, I did want to get these guys in. Uh, we have Slip McGillicuddy, and then we have... Wang Strokeworthy, which is absolutely hilarious. I think that's a freaking fantastic wrestling name. Wang Strokeworthy. And then the last one we have to go next to all of our other guys is Tate Feeler. Now, I don't know if those three will, will stick, but we do have those guys in the little bag of tricks right there. Slip McGillicuddy, uh, Wang Strokeworthy, and Tate Feeler. But that is pretty much the foundation for the MDDT brand, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you guys have any sick ideas, you know, if you have what you want to, you know, plug in there or what your ideas are, you have any other, you know, cool wrestler names or gimmicks or ideas, please send them to me. I would love to hear it. You know, if they're great, if I think they're terrific, I want to plug them in there. Again, this is probably not going to come to fruition for a long time because I'm still working on other things. And, you know, I'm, I'm trying to make each wrestler slowly but surely when I have a little bit of free time. But all my free time right now is wrapped up on Hell's Gate. Um, but you guys will see these come to fruition slowly and I'll put them out there and then you know, they'll, they'll be eventually out there. But this is the basis. This is kind of what has been in my head for a really long time. So I wanted to put them up to you guys, see what you guys thought, and maybe add some extra ideas. But that is going to do it, guys. MDDT Developmental right there, or MDDT, whatever the hell. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE action figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.